Good afternoon, colleagues, and uh, welcome to this uh, post-match press conference for the match uh, Senegal versus Eswatini, which has just ended 10-9 in favor of uh, Senegal, uh, who will advance uh, to the semi-finals with Eswatini advancing uh, to the plate semi-finals. Uh, I'd like to just briefly allow for flash photography and for those who are going to be recording to put their devices up front here so that we can have uh, full cooperation once we get started. Um, with that, I believe there will be uh, no further photography uh, that will be done. Let's start with the two coaches uh, with us, uh, the two head coaches. Coaches, uh, your impression uh, of the match overall, 1-1 uh, in 90 minutes and 90 minutes and off to penalties uh, to decide this time. Coach Senegal. Oui, c'était un match difficile au début, on était bien en place et on a pu marquer au but de l'entente du match, je pense. On était bien en place, après on a vu une équipe qui avait envie du côté des Spatinus, qui était très bien en place et qui nous a mis en difficulté. On a reculé, euh, ils nous ont plus laissé faire notre jeu, donc ils nous ont mis vraiment en difficulté. Et ils sont parvenus à revenir au sport. Et voilà, ils ont eu le rythme. Voilà, après, à la fin, on a eu l'occasion pour tuer le match. Malheureusement, c'est quand même un fond. Aujourd'hui, on gagne nos pénalties comme l'année dernière. Tant mieux. Voilà, mais après, on sent que cette équipe de soit ils nous avaient bien préparé. Bravo pour Kochi. Nous avons vraiment des difficultés. On se rappelle parmi les coups, parfois, bien par prix aussi, on peut commencer à faire mieux, c'est comme ça, on a mieux pour continuer les demi-finales, parce qu'il doit jouer un autre match. Voilà, on est félicite pour le match, c'est ici. Ok, même si je ne peux pas faire un match aujourd'hui, je voudrais vous remercier le team de Swatini, et le coach, parce qu'aujourd'hui, le team était déjà dur. They, they, they did a very good match. It was difficult for us to, to, to develop our, our, our tactics. Uh, we had the chance to, to score uh, the first goal uh, rapidly, but then they, they, they scored, uh, and so it was very difficult for us to, to go back. We tried uh, at the end of the match, we, we got a good occasion to, to kill the game, but unfortunately, uh, our player was able to, to, to put the, the ball. And like uh, last year, we, we had to, to go on the penalty kicks. And uh, so we are, we are happy to, to win today, but uh, we have to do it. So let us win. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it was a tough game. We knew it's going to be a tough one. But uh, I'm happy with the overall performance. Uh, our team showed character, you know, in playing against the best in Africa and managed to see their goalkeeper there. It's an achievement. Uh, coming back to the game, I think creating better chances were supposed to win the game. Uh, in the 90 minutes, unfortunately, we failed to convert. So in football, it's like that. You, create, you can create a lot of chances if you can't convert. Obviously, you can lose the game. Otherwise, our performance, I was impressed. Now, we will allow for uh, colleagues in the media to interact with you, coaches. If I may, uh, we will have two rounds of uh, Q&A. Please show by hand, uh, give us your name and your media house before posing uh, your question. Yes, there's one there, two, three, and four. One. Yes. One, coach, what could you take from watching on the one and those and then the second question is we are going to the half country to the three qualifiers and going to be back to the internationals. Out of the team. Please come again. Please come, come again. again. Yeah, first question, what, what can you what, what can you take from, from the tournament? Maybe one, the bronze the bronze medal last year. And then the second one is the show the internationals are going to be. Uh, yeah, you 
know, it's a, it's a good tournament. Kosovo is a good tournament. And the way it is organized this time around, whereby uh, teams will play a lot of games, uh, I think our players will go. Because players only go when they play games, you know. So the more the, the games, obviously players will go. Uh, in terms of uh, bringing our international, it will depend on their availability. Okay. Uh, and then two. That's it. Two. That's me. Yes. Coach of uh, If you look at this performance in this year 2022, and looking at the previous performance of your team, do you think you improve or do you think you feel there's some other areas that you need to focus on? Uh, and looking at the performance that you, you came up today, and a lot of chances that you created, but you didn't win the game of the day, definitely the same part for yeah, there are signs of God, you know, developing a player is a process. It's not something that you can do overnight. I'm happy. There are signs of God. Okay. Three. About, about the performance for this year compared to last year. I think we are better. This year we performed bad, better than last year. The, best, the players are now understanding how, how the tournament is being done. You almost rest one day, you are playing the following day. So I think physically, they are well conditioned against it. They were able to sustain. Okay, three. Three. Um, my question is for coach. Uh, I'll start with the second place, coach. Uh, coach, congratulations on the win. Come again, for example. Um, you know, when you play that game, but the semi finals. Uh, your, your preliminary assessment of that game, one. Two, uh, you're closer closer to your second point. Uh, how, how motivated are you to uh, emulate the big team uh, who won the outcome? Oui, c'est sûr. On a vu des arrières dans la Super League de, de la Zambie. Ici, on a vu le bar match. On a vu que c'était une équipe très joueuse qui joue très très bien, qui a, qui a un collectif pour, pour la maîtrise du ballon et qui, qui est pas mal. Donc, voilà, nous, on se prépare. Continue notre chemin. On sait que euh, n'importe quelle équipe sur, sur, sur laquelle on tombe, on sait que c'est des grosses écuries. Voilà, on est, on est là pour jouer, pour aller jusqu'au bout, pour essayer de gagner ces trophées. Oui, c'est bien. Oui, papa, papa, aujourd'hui, notre équipe a, a gagné la Coupe d'Afrique, donc on a tant du temps à gagner. Et voilà, c'est bien là, je pense que nous avons assez de temps pour nous donner ça va être bien et on va être avec toutes les équipes. Première question, aujourd'hui, nous avons été venus à voir la Zambia. Et donc, c'est une très bonne équipe, ils ont appris à toucher le ballon, ils ont un très bon mindset. Et oui, pour moi, c'est un match où nous avons été préparés, nous devons jouer contre tous les opposants. Zambia is, a, is a, an opponent, so we try to do our best for him. And for the, for the second question, of course, uh, everybody talks about uh, our, our winning uh, camp uh, after uh, several years. So, yeah, we have the uh, same spirit and uh, we try to, to do our best uh, to, to win the Kusapa Okay. Coach Pinelli, your were the last man standing from the Stages, how painful is it for you to exit at this stage as last night standing from the premium? Oh, you know, I'm happy with the performance. There's no way I can uh, compare oh. and complain. Yeah. Otherwise, the overall performance from the players, you know, even if I, uh, when I get into the hotel, I'll be able to take up looking at the performance. Yes, okay, four. And so let's see if I remember what the air came. Coach, I mean, this one's for you. Um, you played three matches in a short space of time. Do you think the team played a huge role in your performance today? Uh, not that much because we were able to rotate players. So today, uh, the new players who came in, 
to assist the team. So when looking at the tempo Senegal was playing with, they were able to match them. Mm -hmm. Okay, final round of QA. Uh, if there's any other questions, it's just one. Okay, we'll go with just this one. Cool. Um, thank you. Um, this one goes to the Sardinia coach. Coach, um, did you miss uh, your left footed midfielder at Sardinia Cabinet today? Because he was suspended? Do you think Van missed him in the team? No, no, no. Looking at the other guys, they performed well in that position. So he gave them a chance. Maybe when he comes back, he won't be able to break in the starting unit. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, uh, colleagues. Uh, that brings us to the end of uh, this uh, press conference. Uh, we will meet again at the end of the next 90 minutes that will be played out uh, on the Kings with the team turf. I uh, just run about at 5 p.m. Thank you very much. Uh, please allow the first.